Hey, this is attorney Andre Belanger, and what I want to do today is just give you a quick video on why I want to defend you. If you're watching this video, it's because either you or someone that you really care about has been arrested for a crime, and you probably have a lot of questions and concerns. And so one of the things that I've noticed is that people that come to our office for help, and they really fall into one of four categories, and each of these categories I can help you with. The first are these are people that are truly not guilty for what they're arrested for. It's normally a case of mistaken ID or just simply being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, as far as a criminal defense attorney goes, these are actually the hardest cases we have to work on um, because there's just a tremendous amount of pressure um, with having an innocent person's life in your hands. But that said, there's also the most rewarding cases as, as well as when you can see someone through that process and they can give back their reputation and they can you know, go away uh, with having the fear of losing their liberty. Now, the, the problem is, is that we all know that uh, guilty uh, people um, go to jail, but also not guilty people go to jail. And um, what I've seen is that the, the biggest mistake uh, that people who are not guilty have and why they are going to jail isn't so much the system, but it's their mentality. Um, we we want to have this false sense of belief that because we didn't do anything wrong, we don't have anything to worry about. So that we're going to trust the process. We're going to trust that the jury trial is going to set us free. And we're going to trust that we don't really need to go out and spend money on a good attorney because any lawyer uh, will do because after all, we didn't do it. And, and, and those are just some of the biggest myths and, and mistakes that people made. Please do not bargain shop when you're looking for a criminal defense attorney if you're not guilty of why you were arrested. Now, there's a second category of people, um, people who have done something wrong, but maybe not exactly what they are charged for. And I can also help out these folks, too. Um, you see, there's a little bit of a dirty underbelly when it comes to money and statistics that drives the criminal justice system. Uh, the police will arrest you for a greater charge, one, because they get more stats, um, and also, two, that it allows for a higher bond. And the DAs will charge higher because it gives them more wiggle room to plea bargain, again, for stats. See, everything in the criminal justice system is stat and money driven. And that's just a dirty little secret that most people don't really know about. The DA's offices get funded based on their convictions. Police departments get funded based on the, the, the seriousness of the offense and the number of arrests that they make. And then you have a whole court system and probation parole office uh, that makes money just on the sheer volume of cases. And, and, and so when you're dealing with these types of cases, uh, what a lawyer can do for you um, there's really three ways to get justice for the right charge. One is negotiation, uh, second is pretrial litigation, and the four, or third is going to be the trial itself sometimes. So if you have a good trial lawyer, they may be able to negotiate the right charge off the bat for you. Um, sometimes you have to do a little bit of fighting um, pretrial litigation by just setting the terrain of uh, the legal case. Uh, the next type of category of people that I can help are those who maybe did the crime, but they were arrested improperly. You see, the Constitution is a, is the Bill of Rights is a document that is actually here to benefit you, the citizen. It is to limit the power of the government to deprive you of certain rights. And the most common that we'll see as criminal defense attorneys are the right against uh, searches and seizures without a warrant, um, also the right to an attorney, um, and the uh, right to uh, a trial. Now. Um, one of the sad truths are that there are many exceptions uh, to the search warrant requirement and all of these exceptions are court created doctrines that exist to become some smart lawyer for the government successfully argued for an exception. And so over time the ability to be protected by the Bill of Rights has been eroded and is always going to be eroded um, as we have this uh, police state that has developed. So. Um, one of the things that I, I find is that if you have an effective trial lawyer who knows the law, and not only just knows the law, but actually knows how to establish the facts at a hearing to question the witnesses properly to establish the underlying facts to support that law, um, you have a good chance of getting the evidence thrown out. Now, whether you're guilty or innocent, if the evidence is thrown out, you deserve to have your case dismissed. And so that's one of the things that uh, we can do to help people who have been arrested and maybe there's a valid reason for their arrest. Now, the fourth category of people are people who have been arrested correctly, um, they're charged correctly, um, and that the way uh, the police put together their case was done properly. But just because you have are responsible for doing something wrong 
doesn't necessarily mean that you deserve to lose your life. It doesn't necessarily mean that you deserve to go to jail. So an effective trial lawyer can negotiate or even argue to a judge at sentencing for the proper penalty that is just for you under the circumstances that takes into account not just this bad day in your life, but everything that you have done before and after your arrest. So if you have any questions um, about why it is I want to help you or how I can help you, uh, just call the number at the bottom, 225-927-1234. Gladly talk to you.